Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. So today we're gonna to dive deep into a case study that will potentially give you a new source of revenue. And the way I would like to approach this with my clients is first identifying what I call high value problems to solve. Once those are identified, I'll train them on how to solve it. And then I'll give them coaching strategies on how to price it. Because a lot of people are doing things by hour instead of by value. OK, so if you work on transmissions or um, let's say you don't work on transmissions, but you just want to learn how to program them, this is going to be an interesting case study for you. Today, we are going to be talking about how to program a replaced transmission on a 2017 Chevy Suburban. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm an independent all tail diagnostic consultant. Welcome. And if you would like to purchase your tool and have the one on one mentorship, by me, go to alltelltech.co.za. Now, the tools used in this case study are the following. The Maxisys Elite, a J2534, and a laptop, all right? And the background of this case study, so the client lives in a semi-rural area. He replaced the transmission and the manufacturer instructed him it needs to be flash programmed, okay? He was considering it take uh, taking it to a dealer, but the dealer was 30 miles away. So I told him in the event he gets a programming situation, book a training session with me so I'll teach him how to do it himself. Okay, he's in a prime location because nobody does this. All right, so he can charge a bit more. So let's talk about these, these Chevy, uh, let's call them trash missions, okay? Because that's what they are. This one has a Hydromatic 6L80 six-speed automatic transmission and it has adaptive shift controls, manual shifts, and then under the hood, there's an integrated transmission control module, okay? So this is, I think, built near the valve body and uh, common symptoms that you'll get with these, you're gonna hear them a lot, shifting delays, grinding when accelerating, shaking on the road, uh, whistle sounds coming from under the hood. This thing was such a big issue. It was actually on the news. <laughs> okay. A lot of people were having this problem. They were complaining. And uh, what's, what's interesting was the older generations, like 2008, they didn't really have this problem. Um, it's just with this, this new technology and these transmissions, they're very problematic. Okay. So this is the opportunity for you guys. If you guys actually know how to attract these uh, customers not only helping them out but you can profit handsomely from doing this procedure okay so first one check the repair information let's not assume anything if a new TCM has been installed in the vehicle the new module needs to be reprogrammed so uh, SPS this is all programming language to me when I see SPS that means we need to program it then perform the reset transmission adaptation. So this is what I would consider the coding procedure because we're, we're just gonna use the auto, click a couple buttons and get that thing reset, okay? So step number one, program the TCM with tech line connect. All right, so remember in, in programming, preparation is key. Make sure you have your battery maintainer, uh, ignition on, doors are closed, you know, lights are off, um, and your J-Box is uh, plugged in to the OBD port and to your laptop. Once that's done, we're gonna click connect to vehicle, and then here it's gonna ask us to select which J2534 we're gonna use. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, and then we're gonna click continue once that has been identified. And uh, let's see, we're gonna scroll down, click continue, and then it's gonna give us the year, make, model, the color, the build date, all that information about the vehicle. Once that's there, we're gonna to go to SPS2. All right, right there. And then uh, it's gonna give us the loading screen. And after this loading screen, it's gonna give us the VIN that was identified. And it's gonna give us the options to select reprogramming or replace and reprogram. So since we replaced the uh, transmission, we're gonna click that and click next, okay? Now here, it gives us a list of all the control units. So you can see where it says code, okay? 
what GM does is they each trans or uh, control module they give it like a a code number as a reference to cross reference it. So if you look at the repair information, you are going to see the K71, and even when we're programming, you're going to see this throughout the programming procedure. So just it just tells us that it's the TCM module K71. All right. All right, so what's going to happen here? The vehicle will take one of your VIN slots. All this basically means, guys, is when we program successfully, it's going to take that VIN and store it in our AC Delco account. So let's, let's say a month later, if we need a program again, we don't need to buy another one. We can just click that one and program again for up to, I think, 24 months. Okay, so here is all the uh, components that are going to get an update in this transmission control module. We're going to click next. All right. My client asked me, what does the unrecognized calibration mean? And what I explained to him was, um, since this is a new module, they give it to us blank. So it can't pick up any, you know, part numbers on it. There's no operating system. So what we're doing now is we've downloaded that software and we're going to inject all that information on there so if we ever look back we'll see those updated uh, values on the transmission control module all right now this procedure would take about i think 15 minutes okay and then once that is done i'm just going to speed that up for us here you're going to get a confirmation and you want to take a picture of this for uh, proof that you programmed it. And then I'm gonna click later because I wanna still uh, just erase any DTCs in the system. Okay. And then uh, once that's been cleared, we can exit out of here and go to the next procedure, which is the transmission uh, reset adaptation procedure. Okay, so here we're gonna whip out our Maxisys Elite, all right, and we're going to scan the vehicles. The GM programming software, even though it clears the codes, it doesn't give us any type of uh, information as to what modules um, have error codes and stuff, okay? So we're just going to see, because this vehicle, it's been down for, I think, I think a couple of weeks, okay? Um, so I'm going to do a quick erase, and then after I do the quick erase, I'm going to go to the control unit for the TCM. Okay, I think it's number four. Scroll up right here. Okay. All right, bam. So here, we're going to go to special function, and then we're going to get that uh, adaptation procedure which is very important. Now, uh, if you read the service information, this needs to be done while you're driving the vehicle, okay? So just imagine that you're driving the vehicle and you are analyzing all this data here and uh, they give you some more specific instructions on how to relearn it and stuff, but you're just basically going for a drive. Once you've done that, just simply click the reset button and then you're done. Okay, you're going to see the on the top here, it's going to say uh, reset. Okay, and then you're done. So, how to attract clients with this problem? Okay, so we're going to use the AIDA formula, and it stands for uh, attention, interest, desire, action. We got to get their attention. No matter how good you are, if we don't get their attention, you're, you're going to lose up on helping this client. So what most 2017 Chevy Suburban owners don't know about their transmissions, okay? So this is speaking to a very niche uh, market, okay? Now, once they see the title, we gotta hook them in. Are you a 2017 Chevy Suburban owner? Notice any odd shifts, hesitation, or a pesky check engine light? You're not alone. GM has issued a TSB that could be the key to your problems. Listen up because what you don't know could cost you thousands. Now, this is really good because it's, it's doing several things. The first thing, it's giving you authority because you're taking some 
real information and presenting it to them. They don't know about this. Most most homeowners, they, they don't have access to this type of data. The other thing that it's doing is it's making them curious enough to read the next paragraph. And when you write your copy, you always want to give them that like, oh, I got to see what they're going to say next, you know? So let's do that here. Then it says, GM has issued a TSB addressing these exact issues. If you're experiencing any of the following, pay close attention. Harsh shifts, your car shouldn't be doing the cha-cha-cha. Delayed shifts, it's not a leisurely Sunday drive. Unwanted downshifts, your car is not the boss. Stuck in one gear, this isn't a one-trick pony. Erratic shifting Russian roulette on the road, okay? So they're gonna re resonate with this, and this is what I call educational marketing, okay? Now, once we uh, go to the next step, we want them to desire what we have to offer, okay? So you might think, ah, I'll just take it to any mechanic. I personally wouldn't recommend that, and here's why. A mechanic without your best interest at heart will likely tell you to replace the entire transmission. But according to GM's TSB, there might be a simpler, more cost-effective solution. So this is actually very uh, clever because you are letting the consumer know that there's people that could screw you over, screw them over. You know what I mean? So they're gonna, you're building trust. Now here's the solution. Here's my bulletproof framework for the solution. The diagnostic scan will match your vehicle's error codes with what GM says. The benefit, accurate diagnostics with no guesswork. Now, this is really crucial because you're giving them a fact, which is this here, all right? The benefit is you painting that picture or how they're going to, you know, uh, gain out of this fact, all right? You got to paint that picture, all right? Visual inspection, we look for metal shards wear and tear into your transmission fluid. The benefit, we catch fatal issues before they catch you. TCM update, if there's no wear and tear, a simple TCM update might be all you need. You can save potentially 3,000 on a new transmission and program it, okay? So that's the solution. We got them to read the whole thing. Now, they're excited, right? They wanna take action and you always wanna give them a clear call to action. Don't gamble with your vehicle's health uh, or your wallet. Schedule an appointment with us for a comprehensive transmission diagnostic. Call this number or go there to book. And this is kind of like a, a guarantee, okay? If it turns out your transmission does need to be replaced, we'll waive the programming fee and that's money back in your pocket. Now, let me explain this. I, I should have wrote this differently, but let me explain. Let's say they come to you, you program the module, right? It works for like a month, they come back, they need a new transmission. Remember, you don't need to pay another fee for the GM subscription. You can just click their VIN number and program again. Now, when you say this to a client, they, they don't know this. They're thinking like, wow, this is such a really good deal, okay? So that's how you write um, copy to attract people with this problem, okay? Now, let's go to the final thoughts. Do not install a used transmission for this vehicle. The reason being is because GM has something called the Global A architecture, which prevents the exchanges of used control units. And this particular VIN number falls under that category, okay? Number two, have the GM software installed beforehand. I have a lot of clients who, let's say they'll get a program event, and then when I say, look, it costs 200 bucks for me to help you program it, they'll just tell the client to go away. The people who invest and do the programming uh, installation beforehand, they actually attract more of those clients and they're ready. It's better to be ready than to get ready, okay? Next, charge $300 for this service. Now, here's the logic between it. I just replaced the transmission, right? I need it programmed. If people live far away that can service it, how much would it cost to get towed? Because you can't drive the vehicle, okay? Um, so the programming, that's a service fee. And doing that adaptation, that's another service fee, okay? 
technically you can charge for both of them okay so don't be afraid to charge that this is a value-based price okay and lastly after you program the tcm and if the car doesn't start you may need to relearn the keys okay so with the gm tech connect software you can relearn the keys with no problem and sometimes this does happen okay so with that you guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this one if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment like subscribe and uh, with that, have a good one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye.